Okay, what page is that on, Pastor? In the hymn book. Is it in the hymn book?
service, Lord. Lord, we are here to worship you in spirit and in truth. We give you glory, honor, and praise for waking us up this morning. We are clothed in our right mind, and we are ready to praise you for the awesome God that you are. Lord, we thank you for being a prayer-hearing, prayer-answering God. Lord, you know the state of this world right now, Lord, so we ask that you rain down your healing over this world, Lord. Lord, we pray for those that are in authority, Lord. We pray for state, local, federal, national government, Lord, that they be about your will, your way, and your word, Lord. 
Lord, we thank you for bringing Pastor Malone and his wife down the highway safely, Lord. We pray traveling grace and arriving mercies upon them, Lord. We pray that you use Pastor Malone as your instrument, Lord, to bring the word of God to us, Lord. Lord, we pray that you decrease him and increase you within him, Lord, that he may preach your word, stand boldly before the throne, and tell us about a dead, buried, and risen Savior, Lord. As we celebrate, Lord, the birth of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for sending your son to us, Lord, because it is your grace and mercy that continues to keep us, Lord. We didn't do anything to deserve how well you have treated us, and how you continue to provide for us, Lord. So the only thing we can do is say thank you. So, Lord, we thank you right now. We praise you right now. We glorify you right now. And we give you all glory, honor, and praise. In your holy name we pray and we thank you. Amen. 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 I want to read for you the entirety of the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May God bless the hearers and doers of his word. Amen. 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 Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. I want to give you a welcome today. Welcome to Antioch Community Baptist Church. Amen. 1107 North Hickory, Chattanooga, Tennessee. We pass with the white court. We want to thank everybody that's here. I'm so grateful to see a lot of our members here that haven't been here in a while. And our pastor that's going to bring the message this morning. Amen. We want to welcome him, welcome everybody on Amen. Facebook. Amen. Let me give this message to you that I was given by a friend. Every season brings a reason to rejoice. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Pastor Dwight Clark is your pastor, Andrew Bellator. Welcome. We want to give the back to Marvis Burke for your announcements today. Thank you. Let's welcome William Malone on the day to bring Amen. 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 Good morning, uh, any of our church family here in the sanctuary, and those of you Facebook Live. Had a couple of Christmas cards uh, sent to the church, and Mother Dawn handed me one when I went to see her yesterday. Merry Christmas. May you have an abundant, wonderful Christmas filled with love from God, Sister Wanda Gordon. And behold the Son of God to the any of our church family. Wishing you peace, joy, and love this Christmas and always with love, Mother Dunn and Josh. Amen. So just want to make sure that our, our church family know that we received your Christmas card and thank you for thinking of us in this season. Amen. 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 Amen.
How many of y'all know about Jesus? Amen. How many of you really know about Jesus? Amen. Somebody said, I tried for myself. And it wasn't, it wasn't that I called any special name. But Sister Melody said it was at the name of Jesus. The atmosphere started to change. I remember I was sick, Sister Mary, and I, I just started saying, Lord, help me. <laughs> and the more I began to say, Lord, help me, I had to replace Lord, help me with Jesus. And the more I called him, the better I began to feel. And I don't know about y'all, but there is a name that is above all names, whereby all men can be, will be, shall be, Say, it's offering time here at Antioch. We believe in giving, not because it is a command, but we believe in giving because according to faith, we walk by it and not by sight. If we want God to do something, the Bible says, what a man sows, that shall he reap. Said if a man sows sparingly, shall reap sparingly, but if a man sows bountifully, he'll reap bountiful things. He says, Pastor Malone, prove me. He said, if you give it to me, I'll give it back to you, good measure, press down, shake it together, run it over. He said, prove me. That means try me. He said that I'll open up a window and I'll pull you out of listen that you won't have room to receive. And I don't know about y'all, but have you ever tried that type of God that pulls out the blessing that you don't have room to receive? And even when you try to find more room to receive it, you find out that there's a blessing that overflows. And when it overflows, that just means that God gives you that you may give to others. We got quiet there. God gives to you that you may bless others, not just in finances, but in whatever God allows you to have. God says, give a little bit back to me and watch what I do with it. We're going to ask the deacon to come ask him to pray. We're going to take a bow offering here in person. If you're joining us online and you wish to give, you can give according to Givelify, or you can give through Cash App. Givelify, you just search Antioch at the Primitive Baptist Church. Cash App, it's a dollar sign, the Antioch Church. If you want to give in person, you can mail it here to 1107 North Hickory Street, Chattanooga, Tennessee, 37406. Or, if you just feel like you look at us in the face, you can bring it to us. Because I just believe we want to see you just as much Amen. as you want to see us. Amen? Amen. 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 We'll turn this over to our deacons. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another opportunity to show the praise of God. Father, thank you for blessing us the way you have. Heavenly Father, let us do bless this offering. Bless this offering to you, Lord.
Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. The church say amen again. Amen. amen. He's no stranger to this place. He's no stranger to our hearts. He's no stranger amen. to the family of Antioch. He's definitely no stranger to the Indian Creek Primitive Baptist Association, amen. for he is the person of the elder William Malone, the associate minister of Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church, where I would moderator, elder moderator Burwell is the pastor. He's a man of God. Amen. Amen. A preacher. Amen. And if you ain't careful and we let him go, he'll tell you his testimony. Amen. And have us all in tears. Amen. All right, all right. For he's a true testament. Yes, he is. That God can, he will all right, all right. take care Amen. of his own. And because of that, one last song we're going to sing. My God is awesome. He can move my
Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen again. Let the church say amen one more time. Amen. God is good, isn't it? Amen. God is good and he's good all the time. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. God is so good to us, church, that he's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Amen. God is so gracious. He's full of grace and full of mercy that he allowed us to come to his house one more time. Amen. 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 Let's have a word of prayer. Gracious God, our Father. Lord, we come here, Lord, with just thanksgiving in our hearts. Knowing, Lord, that you're God and you're God all by yourself. Lord, we're thanking you, Lord, for the for the things that you've done in our lives so far, my Father. We know, Lord, it was by your grace and by your mercy, Lord, that you brought us this far, my Father. Lord, we know, Lord, it wasn't by our own strength, my Father. But, Lord, we know, Lord, our help came from you. That's why we praise you, Lord. That's why we thank you, Lord. Because, Lord, you've been so good to us, Lord. Lord, we've heard good praying, Lord. Lord, we've heard good singing this morning, Lord. But now, Lord, we want to hear a word from you, my Father. Lord, this is a time and a season, Lord, that we celebrate, my Father, the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. But, Lord, we know, Lord, if it had not been for you sending your only begotten son, we wouldn't be here today. So, Lord, I ask, Lord, that you just come on in this morning, Lord, and just sup with us a little while, Lord. And just remind us, Lord, of who you are, Lord, and what you've already done in our lives. Lord, I ask, Lord, that you decrease me in order that you be increased. And Lord, I be reminded, Lord, to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Because, Lord, you're worthy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Giving honor to God, who is the head of my life and the and the head of the church. I thank Antioch for inviting me up again one more time. Amen. Amen. To the angel of this house, Pastor Clark. Bless you, sir. I thank you for your spirit, your, your love for God and the love for your people. Amen. I, ask, I ask God to bless you and bless your church Amen. in a mighty way. Amen. To the mothers, to the deacons, to the congregation at large. And to the ones that are viewing with us today, I bring you greetings from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm reminded that we're not gathering at full capacity due to the coronavirus. Amen. We've had death in our families yes. due to the coronavirus. Yes. We've lost jobs yes. due to the coronavirus. Yes. Friends and loved ones in hospitals fighting for their lives due to the coronavirus. It's not just that virus that's affecting us in our lives. It's many other things. But as I sit back and think about the time and season that we're in now, I can still celebrate Jesus. Amen? I can still celebrate Jesus. You know, this season we in now is the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so reminded that I thank God for sending Jesus 
to come and save us from our sins. Amen? Amen. We know that Christmas is when families get together and, and, and open up presents with one another. But I want to remind us this morning that, that there's no greater gift than knowing Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Amen? Amen. See, I, I'm going to just be, be reminded today that I just can't do nothing without my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? He is the one that, that brought us this far. Amen? He is the one that sustains us. Amen? He is the one that opens our eyes on a daily basis. Amen? Who can't serve a God like that? Amen? Amen. Before I get any further, I would like to bring up a text. A familiar text to all of us. But I want to remind us this morning. God's greatest gift. And his greatest gift is John 3.16. You know, this, this season always brings me back to what God has already done in our lives. Amen? Amen. And he showed a, a humbleness, not just for the Lord, but for his people. As well, amen? amen? If we was to put a, a pen in 16, and if on down the road the Lord leads me to go to 17, yeah. I jump on over to 17. Uh -huh. But now God wants me to touch on 16. And it says, for God. Listen to what he said now. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And it says that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Let, let's stop right there. Amen. If I was to put a tag on this text right here, my tag would be God's greatest gift. All right. Amen? Amen? God's greatest gift. Here in this text, we are reminded of God's greatest gift. He has given us, and not only us, but to all creation. Amen? Amen? I know today in all churches we're celebrating God for what he has done for us in the past and in the present. Right. Martin Luther King called these passages of scripture the heart of the Bible. Amen? He knew these scriptures summed up God and his purpose for his son. Amen? If I was, to, I'm going to attempt to pull out three points in this text. My first point is God loves, amen? Yes. My second point is God gives, amen? And my third and final point, it says God guarantees everlasting life, amen? amen. If we was to look in Galatians 4, 4 and 5, it said, but when the fullness of time came, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, so that he might redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. Amen? See, off the top, he, he's letting us know that we are his chosen people. Amen? And if we was to look at John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world. You see, God, God love is not restricted to any one nation or one person. God love is for all. Amen? Muslim, Jew, Arab, white, black, Hispanic, rich, poor, Baptist, Methodist, Primitive Baptist, Church of Christ, Presbyterian, and so on. God loves you no matter who you are or even claim to be. God's love is everlasting. His love is not restricted to one person. Amen. Amen. So that reminds us, I don't care how they act. I don't care what they do to you. God still loves you. Amen. Amen. Folks can run your name through the modern clay, but God, he still loves you. Amen. Amen. Now this is the God that I serve. We know that we all have sinners and fell short of the glory of God. Romans 5 and 8 reminds us, but God demonstrated his own love toward us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. Amen. Who can't serve a God like this? Because he know we wasn't going to act 
right. He knew we weren't going to treat each other right. But God, he still loved us anyway. Amen? Amen. Ephesians 2, 4, and 5 also tells us, but God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, he made us alive together with Christ. It says, by grace, you have been saved. Amen? Now, this is the God that I serve, y'all. This God came down and he, he presented himself to humankind, amen? amen? So that we may believe and change our lives, amen? amen. See, this, this life that we live in, we can't always be out there big and bad what we think we can do. But God loves us so much that he wants us to live a life pleasing to him, amen? amen. He knows we're going to fall short. But what we have got to do, we have got to believe in God, trust in God, and believe in his word. Amen? We know that God suffered and died for us, but we got to honor his name and thank God for what he's done in our lives. Amen? Amen? Now, see, I'm reminded here, church, that God paid a debt for us that we are unable to pay. Amen? I don't care what you got up under the tree. I don't care how much money you got. You can't pay God back. Amen. I don't care if you got thousands and thousands of dollars in the bank. It ain't no way you can be able to pay God back. Amen. There's no gift that you can present to God and, and, and make it eligible for him to save your life. Amen. Because God is the greatest gift of them all. Amen. Pastor Clark, I might not make it through this. But I'm going to tell you something. God is good, y'all. I'm reminded that he gave his only begotten son. You see, God presented us with a gift of everlasting life. His only son. The son that healed the sick, cast out demons, offers salvation to the one who believes. 2 Thessalonians 2, 4, and 6 reminds us now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope for grace. Amen? Amen. Who can't serve a God like that? It says it, it, it in, 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 in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. I shall not want. Yeah. That reminds me anything I ask for. My God will give it to me. Amen? Now, see, God loves us so much. It was time that we didn't even know Christ. When we was growing up as children, I heard the teacher say it this morning that, that, that they was made to go to church. And so I'm going to tell you something. I was at that point, too. I was made to go to church. I didn't have no option. Amen. I could just lay at home and watch TV. Amen. But what I know now, I'm glad that my parents took me to church. Amen. It says in 1 John 4, 9 and 10, it says, In this was the love of God, was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten son into the world that we may live through him. It says, In this love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the appropriation for our sins. Yeah. Amen? Amen. That lets us know that we, he knew that we was going to sin. He knew that we wasn't going to live right. He knew that we wasn't going to treat each other right. But he still sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for you and I. Amen? It says in Isaiah 9 and 6, it says, For unto a child is born, unto a child is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. Woo! God is good, y'all. And not just on those Sundays, he's good every day. Amen. Woo! Who can't serve a God like that? Pastor Clark, I'd mess around and get it. And it goes on and tells us, it says, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Preach, man. To believe is to receive life. 
and life more abundantly. It is to put Christ in charge of our present plans and your eternal destiny, amen? Believing in both trusting his word and relying on him for the power to change, amen? I'm going to tell you something. Anytime you come in contact with God, your life is going to change, amen? I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you've been through. If when you come in contact with God, your life is going to change, amen? God will dust your feet off and send you right back out there in the world. Amen? Amen. And I'm going to tell you something, church. We can look back over our lives and some of us ain't got to look far and see what he brought you from. Amen. Amen. Amen? See, God, he bought us out them cotton fields, y'all. Amen? See, we used to go to them outhouses. Amen? He done bought us out them outhouses and put us in these new homes. Amen? Look at God. And I'm going to tell you something, church. God has been so good to us that we can't help but praise him. Amen? Amen. We can't help but praise him because God has been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Amen? Amen. You see, I was going to stop at John 3.16. The mighty Lord has allowed me to go a little bit further. Amen? Now, see, we want to look at 17. It said, for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. You see, the old season saints will say, if that was a time that we need God, the time is now. Woo! I'm gonna tell you something, God is good, y'all. Woo! Now Matthew 1 and 21. Now, I'm telling you, I might not make it through this thing, church, man. But I'm going to tell you something. In Matthew 1 and 21, it reminds us. It says, and she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sin. I want to remind us this morning that salvation is free. Amen? Salvation is free through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? One thing about my God, he always gives us an option. Amen? Amen. To believe or not to believe. Amen? But I'm going to tell you something, church. I believe in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Woo! I believe in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And not only that, in, in, in the Creek Association, we also believe. We believe in one and only true living God, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Amen? I'm reminded of what God can do, y'all. Woo! John, 1 John 4, 14 and 15 says, And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son as Savior to the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, it says God abides in him and he in God. Luke 9, 56 also says, For the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. But to save them. Amen? And see, when God came to this earth, he didn't come for no shape, form, or fashion. My God came and he stuck to the plan at hand. Amen? And that was the same soul. And that's what we're supposed to do. As servants, as people of God, our commission is, is to get out and tell somebody why our Lord and Savior died and he rose again on the third day. Amen? And see, that is our commission, to go tell somebody about Jesus Christ. Amen? Because God has been good to us. Not only good to us, he's been to the whole world. Amen? I'm telling you something, God is bigger than this coronavirus. God is bigger than diabetes. God is bigger than cancer. Amen? It's not nothing that God is big of. Amen? God made and he can control. Amen? But I'm reminded today that God is so good to us that we shouldn't have no reason not to praise God. Amen? Because God woke us up this morning. 
God started us on yeah. our way. God allowed us to have this little bit of food on our table that we ate this morning. God allowed us to have clothes on our back. I'm talking about God not only that gave us transportation to get here and fro. Amen. God allowed me and my wife to make it up here in Chattanooga. Amen. It was by God's grace. Amen. And his mercy that he allowed us to make it here. God is good to us, y'all. And I can't help but praise him. Amen. Now let's go a little bit further, y'all. Now I want us to get this. Now see, not only does he save us, not only that we know that God is God, but God, he guarantees us everlasting life. Amen? Amen? John 3 and 14 and 15, it says that as Moses lifted up the serpent mm -hmm. in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. It said that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 6 and 40 says, and this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in me, in him, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Amen. Amen. John 6 and 47 also says, Most assuredly, I say to you, uh -huh. he who believes in me also has everlasting life. Now see, this is why he's a guarantee that you trust and believe in God, you will have everlasting life. Amen. It it might not be glory, glory all the time, but you got to trust and believe in God. Amen. God has been good to us, y'all. Amen. God has been so good to us. He's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. We put things in our body that's not pleasing to God. We say things that we don't fall to be saying. Amen. We don't treat each other right. Amen. But God, he still loves you anyway. Amen. That's the God that I serve. Amen. Because God is so good to us. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you something, church, before I go to my chair. I just want to talk about my Lord and Savior. Oh, just for a second. Right. I'm not going to be long. But I just want to talk about it for just a few minutes. I'm talking about the Alpha and Omega. I'm talking about the beginning and the end. I'm talking about the King of Kings. I'm talking about the Lord of Lords. I'm talking about the wheel in the middle of the wheel, amen? I'm talking about this same God that was born in Bethlehem. I'm talking about rat and swallowing cloth. This same God, eight days old, he, he was circumcised. Twelve years old, they found him in the temple. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He walked on water. He made blind eyes see. Amen. I'm talking about this same God. When you felt like that you couldn't go on. My God said rise up and walk. I'm talking about he told Lazarus get up and walk. Amen. Who can't serve a God like that? He healed the sick. He raised the dead. I'm talking about he walked on water. Who can't serve a God like that? My God told me, my Lord, I got a job for you to do. But you got to be obedient to the word. Amen. I'm talking about they took my God up to God got the healer. They put nails in his hands, nails in his feet. They hung him up on that old rugged cross. He stayed there Friday. He stayed there Saturday. But bright and early, Sunday morning, my father got up with all power in his hands. So who can't serve a God like that? God been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And it said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Amen. He gave his son for you and I Amen. that we may have everlasting life. No matter what goes on in this world today, we still can lean and depend on God. Amen. Amen. Psalms 121 reminds us, I will lift up my eyes to the hill from which comes my help. And my help comes from the Lord. Who can serve a God like that? That's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. I thank you, Antioch, for having me. I thank you for sharing the word of God. Amen? Because God is so good to us, y'all. And we see all, we got death all around us over this coronavirus. We've lost loved ones. We've lost friends. We've lost clergy. Amen? Amen? But that still doesn't give us a reason 
not to celebrate. Amen. 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 This is the this is our Christmas season mm -hmm. where we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But I'm gonna tell you something, church. I celebrate him every day. Amen. I don't have to wait to Christmas. I celebrate him every day. Because I got a personal relationship with him. I know where he brought me from. Amen. He brought me from a mighty long way. Amen. I told my father, anytime I stand up behind this rock, I'm going to tell my story. My God brought me from a mighty long way. I was burned from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. I stayed in Birmingham for months and months at a time. I laid there on my back. I didn't have no choice. I ran from my calling, sister. I ran. But my God put me on my back. And I didn't have no choice. I couldn't run no more. And I told God, if you heal me, anytime I stand up before his people, I'm going to tell somebody how you brought me. I couldn't see. I couldn't eat. I couldn't even use the bathroom on my own. Look at God. God brought me a mighty long way. I can walk. I can talk. I can see. I can dance. God is good to me, y'all. And that's why I act the way I do. Amen? Because I know where he brought me from. My granddaddy told me years ago, son, you got to have a personal relationship for yourself. Because I know how good God has been to me. God's greatest gift. God's greatest gift. And his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. God's greatest gift. So as you celebrate Christmas next week. And you sit down up under the tree. And you open up your presents with your family. You just be reminded that whatever gift was, was this up under that tree does not compare the gift that God has given us. Amen? It doesn't matter how much money you got. It doesn't matter how many gifts you got. But the gifts and the money does not compare to the salvation that the Lord has bestowed upon us. Amen? Amen. Salvation is free. But the only thing you got to do is believe. The door is open. Only thing you got to do is walk through. Amen? Woo. God is so good, y'all. God is good too. Yeah, yeah. But I just wanted to remind us this morning. God's greatest gift. And his greatest gift is Jesus Christ. Amen. Who cannot serve a God like that? Amen. 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 Gives you food when you're home. Amen. Amen. Gives you money when you're broke. Amen. Amen. He'll be a friend for you when you're friends. Amen. Amen. He'll be a mother for you when you're motherless. He'll be a father for you when you're fatherless. Amen. He'll be a lawyer in the courtroom. Amen. And he'll be a doctor in the sick room. Amen. Ooh. My God knows everything. The Lord told Moses asked the Lord, he said, when I go and tell your people who you are, he said, what should I tell them? The Lord said, I am that I am. And that means that God can be whatever you want him to be. Amen. I'm done, church. God's greatest gift. Woo! God's greatest gift. I am so glad that he paid the price for me. Because if I looked on my life and I ain't got to look for and see where he brought me from. I can't help but praise him. Amen. Because God has been so good to us. So as you leave this place. You tell somebody about Jesus Christ. You tell him why he died. Why he rose on that third day. Amen. And you tell him why he did it. He did it.
for us so that we may have eternal life. Amen? Who can't serve a God like this? I'm done, church. Let's get the Lord a hand clap of praise. stand here today, as I stand here today, can I offer you Jesus Christ? Can I offer you salvation? Because God is the one that can give salvation to you. It may be someone here that just don't know Jesus Christ. It may be someone listening in this morning. You, you found your you're way, you feel, you feel like you lost. Mm -hmm. You feel like that you don't know if you're going left or you're going right or you're going up or down. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to inform you, church. When you come in contact with Jesus Christ, that will be the best thing that you ever have done. Amen? Amen. Amen. Jesus will turn your whole life around. Yes, you will have a whole new outlook on life. Amen? Amen. There are three ways to come into Antioch, amen? Mm -hmm. By letter, yeah. by restoration, mm -hmm. and candidate for baptism, amen? Mm -hmm. But you know what, though? My God says, whosoever will, let him come, let him come. Yeah. amen? Yeah. Whosoever will, let him come. Yeah. To the ones that are listening, you may not be in church, but you may be in your room or in the kitchen, wherever you are. But if you confess that Jesus died and rose again on the third day, it said that you shall be saved. Amen? Amen? So we have got to trust in God, believe in his word, and rely on him. Amen? Because God is a good God, y'all. He's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. So I'm here to inform us this morning. God's greatest gift. In this debt that God paid for us, there's no amount of money Amen. or no amount of gifts Amen. that can take that away. Amen? Amen. Amen. God made a promise to us, y'all. And that promise is that if you trust and believe in him, mm -hmm. he will give you everlasting Amen. life. And I believe in church. And I am a walking testimony. Yes, you know, I could have been dead and gone. Amen. I was laid on my back for months and months at a time. I couldn't see. I was just laying on my back. I couldn't, I even asked my wife to just crack the little paper where I could just take a glimpse of the outside world. My God told me I have to put you on your back in order for you to do the will that I asked you to do. I ran, sister. I was that little old boy that was big and bad to do any and everything that I was bad enough to do. I was lost. But now I'm fine. I was blind, but now I see. Amen? So when you look at me, you're looking at a testimony. You're looking at a miracle. And you're looking at God. When I talk about it, church, it brings tears to my eyes. Why would God call old me, this little old boy? And this assignment that he had for me to do, y'all, is to stand before his people and declare God's word. These tears are tears of joy, brother. Because when I look over my life, and I ain't got to look far, I could have been dead and I could have been gone. But look what God has done. God had gave me a new walk, a new talk, a new outlook on life. And I can't help but praise it. God is my greatest gift. 
God is my Savior. God is my comforter. God is my king. God is my friend. God bless you. And may God keep you. This is my prayer. Let the church say amen. Can I let the church say amen again? Listen, I don't know about you, but when you think about the gift that is God, you understand that nothing can compare to the Savior that allowed you to even have a life, to live. You, you got to understand, nothing of this would be possible had it not been for his decision. Y'all got to understand how he did it, too. He created the world, didn't, didn't call it. Then he went back home, and in the form of him, his, his son, he comes back to the earth. That's right. He comes back, and he shows the world that you can live this way. You can live and go back. Then he went back. He's on the right-hand side of himself. That's right. That's right. Begging and pleading with himself about us. And when he went back, you know what he did? He sent his spirit uh -huh. to comfort us and keep us until he come again. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but, but we serve a God that is so amazing that if you don't think that he's the greatest gift given, think about it, everything that you've ever got. Didn't think that thing to be 20, 40, 100, 1,000, a million fold better. You couldn't unwrap it if you could. Because once you took the, 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 the top off the box, that light would blind you. That's right. You couldn't hold it if you could. Because the truth of the matter is he's too wide. You can't go around him too high. You can't go on too low. You can't go on. You got to go in. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. But I love to talk about Jesus. Because he is the reason for the season. Listen, I know that Friday is Christmas. And I even know that some of you Maybe looking to open up millions and millions of gifts. <laughs> I'm playing, although if you want to send it, you can send it to uh, 1107 North Hickory. Nick <laughs> 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 and David Morris will be here to receive all gifts. <laughs> Amen. Uh, we love y'all. We love joking at Antioch. We know that the word has gone forth. We are serious about God, but we know that God is a God that loves uh, to have laughter. He allows, allows our hearts to be able to, to be and to just understand and be happy and be joyful. And so that's the God we serve. But on Friday at 10 o'clock, I need y'all to grab y'all phones. On Friday at 10 o'clock, I couldn't preach today for a reason uh, that I'll disclose only the folk that need to know. Uh, but I couldn't preach today, and I thank God for Pastor Malone. Uh, but on Friday, God is going to give me enough strength to at least give you at least 30 minutes of a Christmas Day sermon. Uh, God is, is the only, only one that's going to be able to make me uh, pull this off. And so I need you to grab your phones at 10 o'clock. If you got a computer, hook it up to your TV. Let the whole family see it. If you're going to gather around with family for Christmas, I would have you that you don't do it. But if you do it, do it at a six feet distance with your masks on. Amen? Amen. God bless. I felt like the CDC when I just did that. <laughs> Listen, um, grab your phones. 10 o'clock Friday. Uh, it is a custom at Antioch that we have a Christmas Day sermon. And we will keep that that tradition, uh, even though it will be virtual, we will keep that tradition. And so y'all pray for us. Pray for us here at Antioch as we pray for you. And Antioch, y'all need to say it with me. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. And if you want to do something about it, take it up with the Lord. Because we're going to love you anyway. Let's give God a hand clap of praise again for Pastor Malone. Listen. With one great big hearty shout, and yeah, let's do it with me on the count of three. We're going to say happy uh, anniversary to our moderator on one, two, three. One, two, three. Happy anniversary, moderator Burwell. God bless you. And we pray that God blesses you uh, if you choose to allow the Lord to use you for 26 more years. Amen. Amen. We thank God for your presence. Thank God for the officers. Thank God. You know what? And I thank God for him. I'm not going to even look him over. Reverend McAfee, I'm going to ask that you come and give us our benediction on today. 
Amen. Come on. Amen. If you need some help, Brother Deacon, help. Amen. Y'all know I, I like my elderly folk. I, Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 We're going to ask uh, Pastor McAfee if he would give our benediction and prayer. And we leave this place, uh, but never from God's presence. Amen. I'm grateful to be in the house of the Lord. I'm grateful to see you who are here. I'm grateful for the preaching of the gospel. Because that's what saved me. No way to be saved rather than the preaching of the gospel. And we thank God for this man and the steward and the clad in wood. Thank God for our pastor, our great pastor. Standing by our side and leading us in the direction that the Spirit of God has placed us here to do. Thank you for that. And now we're going to uh, get ready to go home and <laughs> wish y'all a Merry Christmas. Gracious Father, we thank you for our coming together. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us this day. Yes. A day that you had blessed. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Now that's where we come from. To rejoice and be glad. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you from the depths of our heart. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this great church. Thank you for this great pastor, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the great men that he is bringing to preach your word and to us. And now, Lord, we pray that you are blessed the bereaved family all over the land of God. And now, Lord, we pray you strengthen this world of the Build us up while we tell them down. And then, Lord, help us and take us through <clears throat> this epidemic that is going. Yes, God. Lord, you are able yes, to carry us through. Yes, and we're depending on you, Lord. Yes, In the name of Jesus, for Christ's sake. Amen. 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 God bless you. Bless is our prayer. We love you. Nothing you can do about it. Amen.